Hi guys! In today's video, I'm going to be doing my New York vlog. This is filmed in February 2020, so it will explain some of the differences between now and then. I was in New York for a few meetings to do a few bits of work. I thought this would be a really fun experience to share, just because we always seek really exciting, satisfying stuff. As soon as I arrived, I met up with one of my friends, and we decided to go to the Sloan Museum in Soho. And I have heard so much about this. So many of my friends have actually been there, and there are so many famous slimers just going in and making slime, selling it there, which is why I I had so many good reviews and they actually had a lot of those slimes still for sale and then they had these massive vats of slime which anyone could play with and this is me opening some of them up we actually got to go before everyone got there so we were the first ones in which is really really cool and it all smelled like different things it was all colored in different ways and it was just such a fun experience after that i went and walked around just to see what else there was and there was an asmr tunnel there's glow in the dark place which i didn't actually film but there was so much to do there and we actually got to go to the out of bounds bit underneath and watch the clay artists do their thing and I stood there like open mouth for 20 minutes just watching this guy do this and he was so nice about it and then to get me away <laughs> they offered me some free slime so I got like 20 of them After that we actually got to make some of our own slime and this is one of the coolest features and the thing I was most looking forward to before going and they have all of these different textures so they have clear slimes, cloud slimes, ices, literally anything you can imagine already prepared and then all you do is customise it. So the first thing I did was go in with my scent, I added some lychee scent, this smelled so good and then if you have like a white slime you can add some clay but because I had clear I just added some pigment and this one was so pretty, it was like a neon pink and after that I decided to go in and add some charms and instead of mixing it like all at the same space and getting it really messy they actually have like filming pods where they have like lighting and like you can see this kind of looks like my normal setup and I just thought it was really cool that I got to film like a proper slime video of us being abroad. When people come and visit, they can go in the window or they can just see what we do and just look around. So in the window, it tends to be people who are already established with a business in slime. And this is scented slime by Amy. She makes amazing slimes. And in this one, she was making a cloud slime float and she actually let me take one and film it for the Slew Moose socials. And this is like her in the window. It was so cute. It has a really nice backdrop, which I didn't really capture here. As well as filming for their socials, we did do some for ours as well. So we just spent like half an hour doing some stuff with the big fats before everyone came in. And then we headed off. It was so much fun. We had literally the best time, but we had a few other things planned this day. And the first one was to get some food. Our friend actually recommended this really cool place called Our Room Cafe. It really reminded me of the cafe vlogs on YouTube, which I love. And it was just really nice to stand there and they were super nice about us filming as well. So yeah, I love this, 10 out of 10. And next up, we went to the Museum of Ice Cream and this again was a gifted experience. Weirdly enough there wasn't that much ice cream there. I honestly didn't mind too much because I wasn't going to eat the ice cream but I was definitely there for the displays and they did not disappoint. It wasn't a super interactive place so it's one of those places you visit as more of a one-off but it was very fun nonetheless and it wasn't super crowded I don't know if they have like a certain amount of people that they let in but it allowed for loads of photo opportunities which was great because that was the main reason we were there so after that we were exhausted and we were like let's go home and then I saw the lit up Rockefeller Center and I was like let's get out because it was February and it was dressed up like it was Christmas so I loved it and we people watched and decided to go into Times Square after it was so packed it was so nice I miss it and we smelled really good waffles so we walked up to the stand After that, it was time to go home and we decided that we were gonna have a really, I was gonna say an early night, that we actually had a late night, but we went to sleep very quickly because we had a convention the next day, which is typically for buyers, but we were really lucky in that we had a private meeting there. So we got access to the convention, which meant we got access to all the early release products as well. And here is Karina. We didn't actually know she was gonna be there. So it's such a pleasant surprise and we ended up meeting up with her. She was working the whole day. So I made a post next to her little photo and then we 
when exploring for other slime products and there were lots that were influenced by slime which was really nice to see and this is our meeting he was really cool about us filming basically he wanted us to try and product test his cloud slimes and say which one we liked the best it was so so fun and yeah they were actually really great recipes we were done by around two and then Karina had so much more to do for the rest of the day but we wanted to catch up so we ended up going around the corner to our tech house in the meantime and this was an abandoned warehouse that they turned into an art installation with all of these projected lights and graphics and they let you film as long as it's under a minute and our day was so cool it was just an all blue theme and it was so relaxing you can get drinks you can just relax we sat there for about two hours without getting bored and they replaced these um, types of pictures all the time so I really want to go back there it was amazing and yeah super super fun when Karina was done, I ended up taking everyone to my favorite restaurant in New York. This is called the Peking Duck House and I get the crispy orange beef. It doesn't look hugely appetizing, but it tastes so good and I've never met anyone who doesn't like it. And then afterwards, Karina headed back to her hotel and we headed back to mine. I had a really load, like a big load of slime that we hadn't played with the previous day. So we ended up filming a few videos with that and just relaxing. Our feet were aching so much just because we walked around everywhere and very rarely got Ubers. And yeah, it was so much fun. The slimes were actually really good, which is really nice as well as having a beautiful experience there. They actually provide really, really good products and yeah, great scents as well. I ended my night in my favourite way on my balcony and in the morning it's just as beautiful as in the night and it's one of those things that you just can never get bored of. I actually had two meetings scheduled in this day but for some reason both of them ended up being pushed back to the afternoon which is when I was on my flight so I didn't get to go to either of them unfortunately so I did all the touristy stuff like going to all the really expensive shops and looking at the gorgeous dresses as well as just looking around all the really cool places on like Fifth Avenue and it was such a lovely day I think this was the sunniest day we were there so it was really cool because I was alone at this point I just went into Central Park and we didn't have the hotel room at that point either so um, I was just walking around alone I ended up walking past the zoo and everyone was saying how happy the animals were that day so I went in and the seals were adorable. They were so cute, they were just swimming around like it was nobody's business and the penguins were adorable. They're always my favourite to look at, they're always just, they just bring such joy. And then the birds were also a huge highlight. And then I left, said one last goodbye to Sloomy on my own and it was just so, so nice to have this trip as a last trip for a long while. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. And thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I had so much fun. Thank you so much for watching my videos. It allows me to do amazing things like this. And I'm super grateful. Thank you so much for watching. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.